Welcome to Kurdistan. I'm finally doing a vlog in Kurdistan and I'm so excited to show you guys my home, my country, my people. For those of you that don't know, I'm Kurdish. So I'm from Kurdistan, which is a region in the Middle East. It spans across four countries. So Iraq, Turkey, Syria, and Iran. Being Kurdish is literally such a massive part of my identity. So I feel like this is a vital chapter in getting to know me, who I am. I'm so excited to be able to share this with you guys. Everything about being here makes me happy. Everything is so interesting to me, so hopefully it will be for you too. I'm very sorry about the lighting. I I wasn't planning on doing my intro today, but I saw the sunset and I was like, oh my God, I have to record that. Didn't think about the fact that it's dark, but yeah. Welcome to Kurdistan. I hope you're able to fall in love with it as much as I do every single time I come back. And I'll check in with you guys later. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Tell me why I decided to pick up my camera literally in the busiest place of the whole of the book. Everyone is staring at me right now. I feel like a monkey in a circus. But we do what we do for content. It's actually been four days since I did my initial intro. But I've been so busy seeing family and buying things that I need to be bought. The days are literally flying by. But it is so hot right now. I came and picked up some shoes for Helene's wedding and I'm actually going to go meet her now. She's shopping for some final bits and bobs. Um, we're gonna go around, ooh, the wrong way. So I'm just gonna take you guys around the, like, the bazaar. We call it Sike. It's extremely hot. I'm sweating profusely. I don't wanna say hi to you She doesn't wanna say hi to you guys. I don't care about you guys. Uh... I'm literally, definitely including this. <laughs> That's fine. People are gonna know that you're an op. We're chilling with the ops today. She wants something nuzzed that she can wear day to day. How do you know? Because I'm looking for the same thing. Okay, well, what do you think? What do you think? It's nuzzed, but I want an even more nuzzed. Yeah, but where's it pointing? Guys, I used to have like the most stunning evil eye like choke necklace. If you look back at my old videos, it's the only thing I ever wear. And then I snapped it one time. My mum actually speaks about it often. See? It gets spoken about. Cause it was stunning it was from Swarovski but they stopped doing it and now I just gotta find something to replace that right now I linked up with Helene that is really nice Helene that's really really nice she's looking for her um, her headband show the camera show the camera the shoe yeah it's not looking good I mean I bought a pair but I don't like it anymore um, it's just very difficult because the style of shoe that you wear with Kurdish clothes is like very particular and very like out of my comfort zone and not my style. Um, but we're gonna call it a day because everyone is absolutely shattered. This has been like three days of like literally six hours of shopping. It's been ridiculous. And everyone's getting real hangry and aggy, so we're gonna go eat something. This is how cute is that? The green is a pistachio baklava. <laughs> and the white is obviously ice cream. This stuff is really good. We got a beautiful chocolate cake here. Yummy. And it was nice enough to put some of the She's natural. Please don't spill it on me though. Okay. It's so good. That is so good. Hey, we got potatoes. Potatoes. This is the second day that we have shopped until the shops are literally closed. Time. That's why I literally said this, this is, is the, second, the time. second time. This is the second time. You would think that we live in these ends. And like this is not world. like, like we came out of the, the cafe then and my mom was like, oh my god, like we did that? Because this doesn't happen. Nobody yeah. shops for this long. We shop until we drop. That's what we do, quite literally. This is so cute. 
cute for like on Kurdish clothes. I'm really feeling it actually. Jesus Christ. I look like an Avenger. Yeah. These are all the different styles of like the hand bracelets. My mom likes that. Okay, this I like. This is super cute. But it wraps around two fingers, which is kind of making me feel like you don't like it. Okay, they don't like it. We're kind of done. I pretty much have everything that I need, and we end all of our trips like. Well, not all of our trips, like all of our shopping days, we have to end traditionally with some food. Guys, how weird is this? We left the car, well it's not weird, it's just how it is here. We left the car like in a car parking lot and I'm just getting in it. The car just stays in the, I mean the key just stays in the car and I just got in. I didn't give a ticket to anybody, I didn't do anything. I just came and got in my car because we just trust each other here, which is just crazy. Would you believe me if I said, listen to my voice guys, like, I'm genuinely really suffering. Would you believe me if I said it's 10 p.m. Yeah, we've, only just, <laughs> we've only just finished shopping and we finally come to have, like, to get something to eat. And the last thing that I ate, like proper food, not the dessert, because that doesn't count. The last thing that I ate was this morning at 12, well, that's not the morning, it's the afternoon, but guys, it was 10 hours ago and I'm constantly sweating and I'm walking around. Like, I'm really burning a lot of calories. Look at the size of this menu. It is a book. Like, it's actually a book. Like, I don't know how anybody would decide. My favorite thing about coming to Kurdistan is that all these starters are free. Like, it's just part of coming to the restaurant. Apparently, my mom said the salad is meant to be incredible. Nice. Nah, besser. Plus, yeah, they told us the wait for the food would be one hour. Like, I want you to imagine how many people have to be here for the wait for the food to be that long. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> Guys, my eyes are literally burning from the fire. And I really want it to stop because I want to eat my food now. Hello guys, so it's now Thursday, which in Kurdistan is kind of the same as like the Friday in the UK. Basically here, nobody really goes to work on a Friday, so the Thursday turns into the Friday. So because my cousin doesn't have work tomorrow, we're actually heading back to Omidi, which is my like original hometown like that's where my mum is from that's where my dad is from so that is like all me so we're gonna go back there probably stay there for two nights and then head back to the hook on saturday it's about an an hour like 45 minutes to an hour's drive so i'm used to the drive it's the same one i do from manchester to leeds to go see my parents so <laughs> look guys this is the rose that that Diru gave me yesterday we left well I forgot it in the car and it's just like roasted in the sun no but this is like I paid 5,000 guys okay that's like two pounds <laughs> two pound fifty <laughs> but technically it's like a forever rose now yeah mm. so see I'm sentimental Okay, so the trip that I'm taking now is one that I've taken many a times. There's two types of electricity that we have here. One is like the main one and one is like not the main one. So when it's not the main one, you can't like turn too many things on. And then you have to come to this bad boy here. And look, that's my house and it's come down. And you just have to put it up like that. But yeah, basically, so when it's this type of electricity, you can't like plug a hairdryer in because wow, look how shiny I am. Because I'm just pure sweating. Oh, I'm out of breath. But yeah, like, what a humbling experience, right? Hey. Oi. Hey. Oi. Oi. I don't know what has been going on with my hair, but it is highly, highly upsetting me. We're currently taking a walk. We're gonna go to a, 
it's kind of like a cafeteria but they do this like nutella and banana crepe i don't know what it is that they put in it but it just doesn't like it just doesn't come close to anything else that i've ever had this that i'm walking underneath is the only mosque in omidi right yeah the only mosque here i wish i had a drone so i could show you guys so that you guys could have a proper understanding of like where it is that i am because basically omidi is on like a i googled it the other day i think it's called like a, a mesa basically it's like a little like mountain type hill with like a flat top i'll try to put a picture somewhere so you can get an idea of where we're walking to now we have to walk all the way down like this road all the way down there to get to the cafeteria that i was telling you guys about because they don't really exist like on the actual rock i don't know how to explain this it's really weird i'm gonna try to take you guys around during the daytime to give you a better idea it's just really hard to do because it's so hot you'll probably tell by the vlogs like unless you're going shopping the only time you really leave the house is when it's dark outside because the heat is like only semi-tolerable this is the all famous crap. They're not about it like I am. That's how it's really done. I actually can't. I actually can't. I need to go shower, guys. I need to go shower. We're gonna go chill in the garden probably for a bit. I look atrocious right now. For once in my life, I'm actually ready before everybody else. Oh my god, who is she? It is because my mum forced me to get up like an hour before everybody else. But it's not even that I do a lot. I just like to take my time. But I'm so glad that she did that because now I'm ready and I can bring you guys up to like the roof and show you the view. So, okay, let me flip you around because... Oh my god, the sun is blinding me. These are all the mountains. There's actually clouds in the sky today, which is crazy. Like, how breathtaking is that? We have pomegranates, and there's actually some more fruits down in the garden. Let me go downstairs. Okay. Okay, no, there's not many on this tree. Let me go around to this tree. So, these right here are called figs. In Kurdish, we call them hajir. <sighs> oh my goodness. Okay, I can't get them. Basically, my mom is like a fiend for figs. She really ravages through them. But let's go back inside and see what everyone is doing. I hear my name. Lydia. That right there is Omedi. That's where I've been staying for the past like two days. Can you see how it's like a mountain that flattens out at the top and everything, like those are the houses up there. And then you just drive down this road to where we are now. We call it, what do we call it? We call it the Rebor. But I do not know how to put that into english for you guys like i really don't know how to explain it's like where all the greenery is people like grow a lot of like fruit and vegetables over here i know the word in english but it's really not coming to me but yeah so a few of my family have like houses down here and it's just nice to come down here it's a lot cooler for some reason i'm gonna say it's something to do with being surrounded by a lot of trees and stuff i don't know it's so stunning being here i love being here and like look like i'm literally surrounded by mountains like you know what they say about the kurds no friends but the mountains my family is sat down there getting ready to have dinner oh let me show you so like this is like their like vegetable patch so there's like tomatoes and corn we had some like corn earlier that we um I hope you guys are able to hear that that's basically the prayer call from the mosque so there's one just there's a, a bunch of houses over there and that's where that's coming from so i'm gonna stop this here it's been a minute i'm not gonna lie to you 
the last time I checked in for this vlog was way before my best friend Helene's wedding and that was quite a while ago. I was planning to end the vlog there and then actually do like a t part two Kurdistan vlog. With the lead up to the wedding and everything being so hectic, I was in Duhuk a lot. I didn't really get to see my family in Omidi. So the last week or so I've been with my family. I spent a lot of time with them. So I didn't want to pick up my camera and vlog. So I'm kind of extending this vlog a little bit more than I wanted to. I'm heading back tomorrow. Uh, today is kind of like my final day. I'm in Omidi at the moment. Me, my cousins, my mom and my auntie are going to head to Duhuk to have like one like final dinner together and then i'm heading back to manchester it's very bittersweet this holiday's been really weird for me i don't know i think with the healing's wedding like there was so much going on that took up pretty much like 80 percent of my holiday so it's, it's just been really different i've not got to see the people that i usually see i've not got to do what i usually do it, i don't feel like i've had my kurdistan holiday it's been absolutely incredible though the wedding was insane i've actually vlogged that so that will be a whole separate vlog that should come I don't know if it's gonna come before or after this. I'm not gonna lie guys, the heat's starting to get to me. Like right now, I'm wearing like a dress. It's actually from Sheen. Let me try to show you guys actually. Lighting is just not good. So it's just like this lovely little flowy dress. I'm feeling real cute, but it's like a weird material. And my mom was like, you don't wanna wear that. You're gonna sweat. And I was like, Ugh it's like one piece of material. Like how am I gonna sweat? I'm sweating guys, she wasn't lying. I've literally had the worst luck with lighting like I wish you guys could see I just about missed sunset basically we've come to this place we call Geozoa so it's like at the top of a mountain and it just overlooks like the whole of the hook and I wanted to get here just for sunset but there's so much traffic around this time and the road is like really really long so it's long time to get here basically I didn't do my timing correctly and we got here like look it's still like really nice like sunset hour but for me it's not the best in terms of like getting a photo or anything okay there's music but we've just come to a restaurant we're gonna get some food and there's like a load of cafes down there that like you can go to uh, have snacks and stuff my arm is literally aching hopefully i'm gonna get a really nice picture i had one last time on my instagram like overlooking the whole of the hook and it was gorgeous and it did really well so i kind of want to remake it how cute is this I feel like even though it's not the, the sunset hour that I wanted, my hair has gone so flat guys, I'm so upset. But I feel like I could still get a really good picture because it's not like super, super dark. Okay, so I got some pictures. I've not looked at them properly yet, but I think they were okay. The background was nice. My outfit is just really, really hard to work with because the dress has like absolutely no shape. So it's not the easiest thing in the world to work with, but I'm gonna have a look whilst we go have dinner. My parents told us not to take too long. So, I mean, I can always go back after we've eaten. It'll be darker by then, which isn't ideal, but I don't mind. I really want to get a picture because I really like my makeup and my outfit today, but my hair is my biggest enemy today. So this is the view after the sun has set completely. I mean, I do enjoy it, but I am more of a, whoa, why am I zoomed in like that? I am more of a like sunset kind of vibe because just behind, like all the way over there, is mountains which you obviously can't see when it's like this dark so i didn't get the picture that i wanted but it is what it is my little cousin's head sticking out hi <laughs> Hey guys, so vacation is over, walking into the airport and if you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry if the vlog has been all over the place. My vacation has kind of been all over the place, but hopefully I enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.